I'm really close. The note said, search for the silver coil. It will open your mind. Hold on, I think I see something. I think, what is that thing? Stairs. And from a physics point of view, it's just as interesting as the, the kid inside me because you've got different forms of energy working together. You've got gravitational potential energy working. Once you get it going, that's converted into kinetic energy. But since the slinky is really spring, that is converted into spring potential energy. And the further it stretches, the more energy you get. Until eventually, the top half shoots back. That spring potential energy is converted back into kinetic energy. Momentum will carry it then over to the next step, and it just keeps on going. Going, 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 and it's really cool to watch. The thing you can do is it can act a bit like Wiley e. Coyote when he's chasing the roadrunner off a cliff. Wiley e. will kind of just hover in midair before he starts falling. He'll be like, whoop. But, anyways, um, most objects don't do that. And actually, nothing does it like that. As soon as there's as soon as there's no force holding this tennis ball up, for example, it goes into free fall. It starts accelerating at 9.8 meters per second squared. On the, sl the slinky, on the other hand, kind of pulls a bit of a visual trick. But when I let go, the bottom sort of acts a bit like a coyote. It stays in almost the exact same spot. It doesn't start falling. And the reason is that there's a spring force acting up on it to counteract that force of gravity. The top half is in free fall. If you watch again, the top half, as soon as I let go, it starts accelerating. It goes into free fall. And actually, it's going a little bit faster because that same spring force that's keeping the bottom half up in the same place, upwards, is going down for the top half um, because it's, both ends are deformed. So, but as soon as it comes back, it falls just like anything else. So, why is this important? Like I said, who hasn't played with a slinky before? This is interesting physics that happens in everyday life. And I mean, you look around, there's countless examples, but I really like slinkies. So, thanks for watching.